Right, today, I'm going to be taking a look at a few of my favorite natural remedies to help ease the symptoms of a fungal skin infection and how you can implement them from the comfort of your own home. Number one, apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar has antibacterial and antifungal properties, so it's ideal for combating a fungal overgrowth, whether it's internal or external. It also helps that these benefits are backed up by research. A recent study found that mildly diluted ABC could help prevent the growth of the candida yeast. Since this particular type of yeast is responsible for many fungal infections, this really is a positive feature for ABC, apple cider vinegar. You can also take apple cider vinegar in a variety of ways. Some people prefer to swallow a small amount each day. Some would rather dilute it in water and apply it to an affected area. Just make sure that you choose a reliable, high-quality organic brand, like Bragg's, and be aware that if your symptoms don't improve within a week, you may need to speak to your doctor. Number two, plain yogurt. Plain yogurt is full of live bacterial cultures, particularly the Lactobacillus strain. This is important as this friendly bacteria can help to regulate the environment in your gut, preventing the small amount of candida yeast that live there from overpopulating. It does this by releasing hydrogen peroxide, a compound that can kill the candida yeast. In fact, one study found that plain yogurt could be more effective than a popular antifungal cream. If you're going to try this remedy though, there are a few key things to bear in mind. Plain yogurt, I mean unflavored yogurt that is organic and completely free of sweeteners. If you apply anything other than this, you might end up doing more harm than good. Make sure that once you're finished with this remedy, you wash it off thoroughly. Nobody wants old yogurt lingering for too long on their skin. Number three, tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is naturally antiseptic and antifungal so it's hardly surprising that it's popular in the cosmetic industry. While studies thus far have been inconclusive about the benefit when it comes to fungal skin infections, there have been a few promising signs. For example, there was a randomized control study conducted on sufferers of athlete's foot that produced positive results. Here, participants were split into groups, those who took 20% tea tree oil concentrations, those that took 50% in a placebo control group that took none. Compared to the control group, those that used tea tree oil found that after a month, their symptoms improved by 70%, compared to the 40% noted by the control group. When taking tea tree oil, try to mix a couple of drops with a carrier oil like coconut, as applying this directly to your skin is not advised and could cause some extreme irritation. Number 4. Turmeric this vividly colored root has been used in Indian cuisine for centuries, but it's only recently that people have caught on to the spice's potent anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial benefits. A study looking at the widespread potential of turmeric's antiviral and antifungal qualities found that curcumin, an active compound in turmeric, was not just effective against the candida species, but also against various fungi. If you're going to try turmeric then, like tea tree oil, you must mix it with a carrier oil, like coconut oil, first. Don't be surprised if this paste initially gives your skin a yellow stain. This should diminish after washing. Number five, cranberry juice. Cranberry juice possesses antibacterial and antifungal properties. It's thought that cranberry juice may inhibit the production of yeast. Cranberry juice was found to exert a significant antifungal influence on eight different species of fungus, although it did not impact the Candida albicans strain. If you do want to try cranberry juice, please be aware that often it's full of added sugars. It might be best to opt for an organic brand. Number six, garlic. A smelly solution, but one that can be effective. Garlic has known antifungal properties, which makes it a popular natural remedy for fungal skin infections. It can also work to support your immune system too, so this is definitely an added bonus. You can always use your diet to increase your garlic intake or try taking a supplement. If you're determined to use this topically though, then try crushing a few cloves and applying it to the effective area. Number seven, coconut. I've already mentioned coconut oil several times in this list, so here I'm gonna shed a proper spotlight on it. Coconut oil, as most of you are probably aware, is a great source of healthy fatty acids and vitamin E. That's why the substance is so popular in the skincare industry already. It's extremely nourishing and soothing for dry, sensitive skin. When it comes more directly to fungal skin infections, coconut oil is naturally antifungal and studies thus far have proved positive results. One trial conducted in 2015 found that mice fed coconut oil experienced a 10 dolf drop in the fungus Candida albicans. Plus, the substance was found to produce very few negative side effects. 
although more human-based trials are needed, so far things seem to be going the right way. Now, as with cranberry juice and everything else, quality really matters here. You really want to opt for extra virgin, 100% pure, organic coconut oil to get the best results possible. You can use this topically when coconut oil is in liquid stage and, and apply it gently to the affected area. Number 8. Aloe Vera Aloe vera is often used in skincare, creams, and lotions, and this is because this plant is rich in antioxidant and antibacterial properties. Studies have found that it may give your production of collagen a boost, so this is something definitely worth bearing in mind when it comes to aging skin. If you have a fungal skin infection, though, then this ingredient can help to inhibit the growth of yeast spores as it contains compounds capable of combating the Candida albicans strain. This is especially useful when you combine this antifungal action with the benefit that aloe vera can have for the digestive system. This helps to prevent constipation and the buildup of waste products within the body that could negatively impact your gut environment. Number 9. Spilanthus Spilanthus is an herb that traditionally is used when it comes to oral problems and fungal skin infections. This is because studies have found that the herb possesses potent antimicrobial and antifungal properties, which can make it an effective treatment. Here at Avogel, we do offer a tincture that could be useful, although we recommend taking it in tandem with our Molcosm prebiotic. The Spilanthus herb is traditionally prized for its natural antifungal properties and is used in a variety of natural remedies. Try mixing 20 drops with a small amount of water for best results. Number 10. Oregano Oil Oregano is a popular cook ingredient with many dishes, but it also has potent antifungal properties. Research has found that it can help fight against certain strains of the Canada yeast, which is extremely useful considering how prevalent this type of yeast is in most fungal skin infections. However, since oregano is classified as an essential oil, you really don't want to go applying this directly to your skin. Instead, try to dilute this first with water. A nice idea if you have a fungal toe infection, for example. You could prepare a foot bath and add a few drops of oil to this. So those are 10 very effective remedies that you can try at home to get rid of skin fungus. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this.